Hi, I'm John Levy with Peter Bodo for Tennis.com's U.S. Open Report. So, Pete, day two, beautiful day out. A little stormy, though, for number one seed Anna Ivanovic. Yeah, you know, Anna, she seems to be feeling that pressure of that number one ranking that she gained shortly after she won the French Open title. Now, she missed Beijing with a thumb injury, you know, so you got to give her a little bit of a break. She hasn't had that many matches, but it also looks to me like she's, she's kind of struggling a little bit. She should be cruising through some of these girls. She's finding out what it's like now, life at the top. you got the target on your back. She's got to close the deal here, maybe. Somebody who's won here before, albeit eight years ago, was Murat Safin. He had a five-setter, tough one with uh, journeyman Finn Spady today. What do you think of his form? Well, you know, Murat Safin is one of those guys. You just never know what you're going to get. The guy's capable of playing great matches, brilliant matches, the way he showed when he won a title here. But, you know, he's been very, very up and down. He was the kind of guy who'll get ahead a little bit. You just can't count on him to close it out. Nevertheless, you know, he's beaten Djokovic at Wimbledon. He's in the same quarter as Djokovic, I think. And, you know, if Murat Safin catches fire and if he comes down a little bit, he could be big trouble. Speaking of big, literally big, six foot six Sam Query had a very good match today. Dusted Thomas Burdish on the grandstand today. What'd you see from him? Well, you know, this was big banger tennis. These guys both serve a ton. Uh, Burdick is 6'5". He's not giving away anything in size and reach to Query, but Query played a really, really tight and very well-focused match. This kid is very athletic for a big guy. He's got a lot of tools and a lot of versatility, great hands. If you're looking for an impact player to emerge out of this open, to have a breakthrough here, Sam Query could be your man. So Pete, now looking at day three matches, Yelena Yankovic up during the day. What do you see from her? Well, you know, Yelena's got a pretty good section of the draw there for her. You know, she could sneak right on through there, you know, maybe without having a whole lot of trouble. The Williams sisters are, are safe out of harm's way on the other side. Uh, I think with Yelena, you know, it's kind of interesting, but, but this kind of battle between the two Serbs, Ivanovic and Yankovic, could come to a head here at the U.S. Open. At night, we get our first look at Andy Roddick. Uh, he skipped the Olympics to concentrate on the summer hardcourt season. Didn't go quite well for him. What do you think of his chances? Well, you know, you really got to feel for Andy. He's poured his heart and soul into preparing for this U.S. Open, and it hasn't gone well. He had a shoulder injury a little earlier in the year, but it's a long way from where he was in the early part of the year when he had wins over Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic, and Roger Federer. We're going to see tomorrow what he's got. You know, he's got a pretty interesting test in Fabrice Santoro, the guy they call the magician. That wraps up day two at the U.S. Open. I'm John Levy with Peter Bodo for Tennis.com's U.S. Open Report.